Yeah, Lori and Jerry, it's been a hot topic here in the Hemfield School District uh, and folks gathered tonight to be able to discuss that policy regarding, a new policy I should say, regarding bathroom usage with students. I want you to take a look at some of this footage right here. This is of the meeting that wrapped moments ago. Now, according to the school board, although not specified, this discussion came to be because there were students who raised concerns about bathroom usage and feeling or not feeling comfortable with the way it is currently going. Now, tonight the board didn't vote on a policy but simply presented a draft of three policy options to the community and here are those policy options option number one restrooms where use would be in accordance to a student sex at birth policy option number two would be restrooms where use would be in accordance to a student's gender identity but it would require proof being given to faculty before approval and option number three a portion of the facilities will be single use now according to to the board these policies were well researched and also uh, compared to other school districts in the area but tonight parents and community members let their voices be heard i think it's most important to let people use the bathroom that they would like to use i don't think you need a policy to tell students which place they should pee in um, because a policy such as that would actually require me to use the women's room i am still legally female my last year's freshman daughter was in the bathroom and texted my, my, myself and my wife while she was having her first menstrual cycle and would not leave for 15 minutes while someone who sounded like a male but was recognized as a uh, transgender female was in the bathroom carrying on with their friends and she was fearful to get out. In seventh grade, Now, what this would require in terms of physical uh, changes or renovations or signage changes, well, that is still unclear at this time. Jerry? Well, Michael, we heard a bit of what the community thinks there. How did the school board react tonight? So the school board was split, and it wasn't necessarily right down the middle. Some say that they feel that this policy being put forth or the policies being put forth uh, say that this is a part of uh, fear-mongering and uh, making people feel uh, like they are an other. The others uh, say that this was a good policy or good policies being put forth. Uh, and again, it is important to note that these policies uh, were not voted on tonight. They were simply just being presented and and currently at this moment, there aren't any policies in place. Reporting live here in Hemphill, Michael Fuller, uh, WGAL News 8.